Welcome to Around the Dog World here at the Stafford County Showground for the first time in 2013 where we kick off a new show season. The first championship show of the new campaign is UK Toy Dog. After the euphoric highs of crafts, we've had a couple of weeks out to regroup and launch back into the show calendar, which sees a series of group and specialist shows. The first of which is here at UK Toy, which means we've missed no action since the most regular face on our screens, Jilly champion soul trader Peekaboo, added crafts best in show to her long list of achievements. Here's the conceit. Number 257. The winner of best in show, Welsh Kennel Club 2012 is the Petit Basset Griffon Vendéon, champion soul trader Peekaboo. Number 57. Here at UK Toy Dog, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at some of the breeds on show today catching the best of the action from the breed rings and talking to experts in a variety of breeds in the toy group. But first, we're going to head to the main ring for Best in Show, where all of our best of breeds go under the microscope of Die Fry. Before the dogs come in the ring, I would like to introduce our judge today. She has been a consistent breeder of fabulous dogs. Please welcome Die Fry. We now start the group with the best of breed, Atham Pinsa. And finally, the Yorkshire Terrier. Before we see Di get her hands on any of the best of breeds, we want to hear from the man in charge, Secretary of UK Toy Dog, Tom Mather. Thank you very much for joining us, Tom. Now, UK Toy 2013 is underway. How's it all going? It's going well so far. Everyone's managed to arrive here, despite different parts of the country suffering from bad weather. Um, and we've got a really good turnout this year, so I'm very pleased about it, as you can imagine. Yeah. The bad weather, we can see outside the, the mounds of snow. The caretakers here have had to do a lot of work. Yes, I think the caretaking team have spent all week moving snow into parts of the showground where it doesn't matter if it's there. Um, is there anything happening at uh, UK Toy that's perhaps different to some other championship shows? Well, we do run a limited obedience show, purely for toy dogs. We've got um, two judges and we run pre-beginners, beginners, class A and class B. We haven't got any toy dogs that are good enough to work in class C yet, um, but we're working on that one and we hope that we will do one day. It's something we instigated about six years ago and it's been popular ever since. Yeah. We'd like to encourage more people to try and enter if we can. Yeah, well, we went down earlier and we saw a min pin just fly straight out the door. Yes, we've had some fun with the obedience exhibitors. Each year we do a demonstration in the Best in Show ring prior to judging the group. Yeah. We do the full range of the obedience exercises, but we have had the odd occasion where a dog's decided to run around and say hello to everybody at the ringside instead of doing what it's told. But that makes it more fun, really. <laughs> and there's a, there's a nice atmosphere. I hope there is. Uh, uh, we've got quite a young committee, and we try to make everybody feel as welcome as possible. And we've got a full complement of trade stands here, and we've actually turned some potential applicants away because we didn't have space for them. We always pride ourselves that we try and make it a good value for money show for both the exhibitors and the traders. Well, it, it's all running relatively smoothly so far, it seems. Good luck for Best in Show and I hope it goes, all goes off without a hitch. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure to see you here today. Her first dog to handle on the table will now be the Affen Pincer. The first dog for our judge is the Affen Pincher, and we were at the breed ring earlier to catch the final moments of judging in this cheeky little breed. So here we are at the Affen Pincher ring. The judge today is Carol Mumbley. Carol Mumbley, sorry, a specialist. Uh, the dog, the dog CC winner, is Avant Garde Magic Cowboy for Balak Amanovich. 
Pritchell Schwartz Jetzig for Scapperfield, owned by Jenny Wiggins. Carol is sending in rent. They are a rugged looking little breed um, and sturdy in build. Despite being small, they shouldn't be delicate in any way. Both look like they're enjoying themselves in there, clearly. Now Carol is Carol's asking for an up and down, and off goes the dog. Uh, this is owned by Julie McAvoy, Josie Harvey and Delia Shepherd, uh, and Julie is handling in the ring here. The dog came out of junior today, so uh, a great win. And off goes the bitch, Capriccio Schwartz and Jetzig for Stratfield, owned by Jenny Wiggins. And again, this one out of the limit class. Uh, so neither of the CC winners come from open, as, as you sometimes expect. And the runway round for what looks like the last time. Carol Mumby, a specialist, will be looking very closely at these dogs. <laughs> Enjoy themselves quite a lot in there. And there we are. Best of breed goes to the dog. That's avant-garde Magic Cowboy from Balata. A great win. Um, and we'll see him a little later on in Best in Show. To find out a little bit more about this breed, we went to speak to breeder Val Kemeny. Thank you very much for joining us, Val Kemeny. Um, we've, we've just seen Best of Breed for the Athen Pinchers. Can you tell us about this, this charming little breed? Well, it's a German breed. Um, they're known as the monkey dog or the monkey terrier because they're little monkey type faces. They were bred originally as a ratter, a stable dog, and then they became ladies' companions. And one of their jobs was to stop the mice running up the ladies' crinolines. <laughs> uh, they also were very good lap dogs. They're very, very loving, friendly dogs, and wherever the owner wants to go, they want to be. They're very strong. They don't realise they're a big dog in a little body. We show them. I do agility with mine. And they're just a loving breed and very, very nosy and inquisitive. They're now quite well known in the country. Established in this country, but they're not a commercial breed at all. We want people to love them for what they are, not to sell them for money. They're a very, very healthy breed. Sort of 12 is a good age, but we've had dogs living 15, 17 years, so they're quite a long living breed. Although they're popular and well established now, they've been imported a few times, haven't they? Yeah, we originally, you can go back, and they were in in the 1800s. They never actually took off. Then um, they came in <laughs> during the um, sort of the early, I suppose, 60s. Again, they didn't take off. But then the Intrepid Four came and um, imported them in 1976, and they've been in ever since then. Wendy Bora, who was the major importer, she died a little while ago. She just fell in love with them, and she was our doyen, and was absolutely wonderful, and knew everything that you could possibly know. Tony Teasdale, who's our secretary now, she's still involved in them. You see a lot of, of dogs, Bichons, for instance, just behind you, that are very well-trimmed dogs, very well-presented. No. What you see is what you get. They should look, look like scruffy little rascals. We tidy up the ears so that they don't look too floppy. We tidy up the feet so they look neat, and their tail so they don't look like lavatory brushes. But apart from that, what you see is what you get with an Affen Pincher. Um, and what, what is a judge looking for in a good one? In a good one, he's looking for a good head with a round, dark eye. The darker, the better. The jaw is slightly undershot so that it looks as though he's pouting all the time. And he should look like a little monkey. The ears are neat, high set. They can be tipped or dropped. He's looking for a square body with the legs set under each corner. They shouldn't be stretched out. And the tail is carried in a neat arc over the body while they're moving. And they've got a high strutting, um, like goose step. And what he's looking for is a small, square, lively dog who's very interested in whatever's going on. Uh, as, as this one is. <laughs> as this one is, yes. Yes, Josie is nosy. Oh, look, what's that over there? Oh, what's that over there, Josie? Well, well thank you very much. Um, and uh, good luck for the Affen Pinchers in Best and Show. <laughs> thank you very much. There were 37 dogs entered. 
and the best of breed is a male number 15. You can support your own best of breeds, you know. We don't tax on clapping here. And before the judge gets any further, it's another breed we saw earlier on today, the Australian Silky Terrier. At ringside, we spoke to one of the breed's top winners in recent years, Jude Reyes. So I'm joined by Jude and Blue. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the Australian Silky? Because they look quite similar to a very popular breed, the Yorkshire Terrier. Yeah, right. The Silky came in this country in the 19, somewhere in the 1950s. The first Silky came into, uh, imported here into, into the UK. But I think the club was originated in, they formed the club in 1970 somewhere. And so the, the breed has been here for a while, but unfortunately they're not still been popular, been, been mistaken as a Yorkie. <laughs> but they're totally two different breeds. The Yorkie are more smaller in size, and the muzzle is slightly shorter than the Silky. Yeah. And in the show ring you can see the difference because the coat of the Yorkie is longer, yeah. and they don't have the top knot or the bow. I don't understand why some people can't determine between the two. Yeah. Australian Silkies have been in the country for a while. They won a Best in Show at UK Toy many years ago, but they've never really taken off. Yes, uh, I don't understand it either myself because they are a lovely breed to live with and they're, they're very easy to show as well. Maybe as well they think that there's too much work involved in this breed and I think another reason is because not much of the exhibitor are breeding a lot with it. So I think that's one of the factors that uh, did not become that popular. Yeah. All the breeds in the toy group are bred for companionship. Yeah. What makes the, the Australian Silky special? They are super loyal to you. And they're very intimate to their owner. And, and they are really very, very intelligent. They're easily to train. I mean, I got different breeds, but I can tell that this is the breed that I could easily train. Can you tell us a little about the origins of the breed? Because they're Australian Silky Terriers. Is that where they came from? Right, the origin of the breed is actually in Australia. Uh, it is, I think it's a mixture of Australian Terrier and a Yorkie. But actually, they, if you look at them closely, they resemble more, a little bit on the Australian Terrier, the looks of it, with a Yorkie coat. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's how I, I look at it. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Blue and Jude. Thank you very much as well. From an entry of 13, and Ingram's best of breed, was the dog number 48. This is the Australian Silky Terrier number 48. We will soon be launching some exciting new products in our Perfect Fit range of harnesses. Here's a quick sneak preview. Our new tiny perfect fit harnesses are for the very small breeds of dogs such as Chihuahuas and tiny Yorkshire Terriers. They are made with small 10mm clips and instead of coming in three pieces they are made with a top piece and a bottom piece. We now move on to the Bolognese because the Bichon Frise best of breed, fortunately or unfortunately, whichever way you look at it, was beaten in the stakes class. So we now have the best of breed Bolognese, another breed judged by Anne Ingram from Southern Ireland. And this is the bitch number 152. That was the Bolognese best of breed number 152. And we can have a bit of encouragement. Remember, this is the toy dog show for the toy dog people. So do support them all. As usual with this show, Cavalier King Charles Spaniels have two judges. And today, Mrs. Pauline Sidgwick and Mr. Rick Aldous judged between them, well, 182 between them, making 207 entries. The best of breed was the dog, number 249. Thank you to best of breed Cavalier, number 249. A well-known name in the breed, Miss Dorothy Entwistle, Judge Longcoat Chihuahuas today, and her best of breed from an entry of 163 was a male, 341.
That's long code Chihuahua number 341. Another well-known name in the breed, Beverly Sutton, judged the smooth coat Chihuahuas today. And from her entry of 112 dogs, she gave best of breed to the male, number 567. On the table now, we have the Chinese Crested judged by our top all-rounder in this country, Zena Thorne Andrews. And from an entry of 96, she gave best of breed to the bitch, number 643. That was best of breed, Chinese crested, number 643. Another of our top all-rounders, Mrs. Brenda Banbury, judged the coat on de Tullier's today, as well as puppy steaks, which kept her very busy. Out of her entry of 29 cotons, her best breed was the bitch number 741. That was the coton best of breed number 741. On the table now, we have the English toy terrier, Judged today by Jeffrey Davis, he had, an entry, he had an entry of 52 dogs, and his best of breed was the bitch, number 755. This is the English Toy Terrier, number 755. The next breed for dye is the Griffon Brusso one. It's another breed we went to watch earlier on at UK Toy, but the breed judge was Joe Golden. So here we are at the Griffon Brusso one ring. You can see the Bitch CC winner in the ring now. Uh, that was Vanity Fair Corsairy Cash, I believe. <laughs> May have said that wrong. And the dog has just come in for the judge as well, and that's Fennymore Percy Ramrod. Just today, as I say, is Joan Golden, a specialist of the breed, sending them both round. The dog actually won its third CC today, um, owned by Peter and Marianne Mercer, um, who actually won Best in Show at UK Toy in 1997 with another Griffon, uh, as champion Fennymore Spanking Good Time, um, who amassed 21 CCs. So I'm sure they're hoping they can they can have another one winning winning like that. And the dog goes on the up and back for uh, for the judge. And you can see both these dogs are rough coated. Uh, you also get smooth coated varieties, um, and there are three different colours. So there's six varieties of, of Griffons. Uh, they're actually judged separately uh, on the continent, but in the UK they are judged all together, all together as the as the Griffon Brussel one. Looks like a decision has been made. Jones asks for the CC, taking a last look at the dogs. And it goes to the dog. There we are. That's Fennymore Percy Ramrod, Peter and Mary Ann Mercer's dog. So we'll see the Griffon Brussois dog, Fennymore Percy Ramrod, later on in Best in Show. So, Joan, thank you very much for joining us. You judged Griffon Brusselois today. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about your winner. Uh, the winner was a dog aged almost four. He's a red rub, and this was his third CC today, so he's just become a champion. Nice to award in the, the third That's one, right, isn't it? That's right, yes. <laughs> give, us a, give us your critique. What will we see in the, in the papers when, when we read your critique? He's a nice, cobby, solid dog, heavy for the size. Short backed, large head, kept his top line the whole time and tail was up over his back. They're a very character full breed. They um, are absolutely you... full of character. A very lively breed. Yeah. They like uh, very much uh, a one person dog. They, they will attach themselves to that person and they want you to be there the, all the time, 
although they are friendly with other people, they're at the best when the owner is there as well. Yeah, and can you tell us a bit about the history of the breed? Because it's obviously a, it's a foreign It's origins. a Belgian breed. They were originally street dogs or stable dogs in Belgium, in Brussels. They used to live in the hansom cab uh, stables and keep the rats and mice down in the stables. But they also used to go with the owners of the handsome cabs and ride on the cab with him and uh, bark at people going past and so on. And then they became popular with the Queen of the Belgians and became a royal dog. Uh, since then, there has been a fair amount of crossing to establish the breed. Yeah. The Toy Terrier was used and the Pug, which gave us our smooth coats. Yeah. And uh, about the coats, there's a, a lot of variety when you're looking in the ring. We have six different varieties. We have reds, blacks and black and tans, both of which come in rough and smooth coat. There should be no difference in the dog underneath the coat. Is it difficult for a judge judging the breed with the, with the different textures? Um, if you don't know the breed very well, yes, it is difficult. But I think when you've been in it for years, you do automatically see you, the dog. You can see beneath the yes. coat. Yes. Well, congratulations on judging, uh, Thank you. judging the Griffons. Um, and good luck for your best of breed later on. Thank you. Judged today by Joan Golding, a breed specialist. She had 50 dogs, and her best of breed was number 826. That was the best of breed, Griffon Bruxelwa, number 826. And now we have the third of Anne Ingram's breeds, the Havanese. Today she had an entry of 46 dogs, making 47 entries. That's right, do show your encouragement for some of these lovely dogs. This is the Havanese best of breed, number 890. And now on the table we have the Italian Greyhound Best of Breed. Judged today by Adrian Vickers, he had an entry of 71 dogs, making 76 entries. And his Best of Breed was the male, number 961. That was the Best of Breed Italian Greyhound, number 961. That's right, plenty of encouragement. You know dogs like it, and I'm sure the exhibitors do too. On the table now, we have the best of breed Japanese chin. Judged by Jennifer Matches. There were 91 dogs, making 95 entries. And her best of breed was another male, number 978. That's the best of breed Japanese chin, number 978. Challenging for best of breed today in King Charles Spaniel is the dog, Ball Dragon, Royal Warwick of Shakum. Uh, and the bitch is champion maybe Clementine of Lenola. The judge is specialist Sheila Byers, who had an entry of 68 today. She's sending them both round. Dog followed by the bitch. Both wagging their tails cheerfully enjoying their time in the in the ring today she has the cc in her hands she's made a decision already that's gone to the bitch champion maybe clementine of lanola another cc and best of breed today for stephen goodwin
So congratulations to champion maybe Clementine of Lenola, best of breeds in King Charles Spaniel today. And we'll see her later on in Best in Show. So I'm joined by Sheila Byers, judge of King Charles Spaniels today. Uh, what do you think of your, your entry today, Sheila? The entry today was good. Um, and my winners I found really, really good. But we are going to have to be careful because there are so many fine-boned dogs coming into the ring that it's going to take, if you keep mating fine to fine, it'll get finer. And we need to keep the bone. We're a toy breed, but we must have the bone that goes with that breed. But your winner, you, you were happy with your winner? Oh, very much so, yes. No, the winner is a lovely dog. I judged him two years ago, and he got best puppy then. And I'm very pleased with the way he's grown on. Yeah. So, yes. Um, I love my bitch winner. Um, absolutely true to the breed with the most magnificent head. So if anybody wants to see a good head, they should look at that bitch. Yeah. They are a head breed, and that is the correct sort of finish that we need. But they need more than head, they need to have the, the whole package, don't they? Oh, they do. Um, absolutely, you've got to have the whole package. But having said that, it's a head breed. Yeah. So that carries most of the marks when you're judging. You have to look at the head. Yeah. However, you have got to look at other things as well. There's no point having a fantastic head if it can't move. Yes. Um, so you do have to be a bit careful there. But um, my bitch, bitch CC winner was absolutely beautiful. And her best to breed was 1073. This was a bitch. That was the best breed, King Charles Spaniel, number 1073. Lotions today were judged by Annette Oliver, one of our most well-known toy specialists. She had 47 dogs entered, and her best breed was a male, number 1127. This is the lotion best breed, number 1127. Maltese today were judged by Mrs. Barbara Cousins. She had an entry of 32, and her best of breed was the bitch, number 1201. Best of breed Maltese, number 1201. The second of Annette Oliver's breeds today was the miniature pincer. This is a bitch from an entry of 78 and her number is 1230. That was best breed min pin number 1230. We now have best breed papillon on the table. They were judged today by Roger Chaston and he had a very good entry of 164 dogs, making 168 entries. And his best breed was the male, number 1313. That was your best breed, Papillon, number 1313. On the table now is the first of our two high-profile breeds in this group. The Pekingese today were judged by Mrs. Andrea Lipsy with an entry of 41, making 44 entries. And her best breed was the male, number 1479. On the table now, we have the best of breed Pomeranian. The breed today was judged by Mr. Neville Ibbotson, 
He had an entry for 105 dogs, making 115 entries, and his best of breed was the bitch, 1598. And there you have the best breed, Pomeranian, number 1598. On the table now, we have the second of our high-profile breeds, and the second breed today that has two judges due to the super entry of 177 dogs. The judges today were Miss Joan Fox and Miss Margaret Grosvenor, and between them, they decided on the male, number 1622. That was the best breed pug, number 1622. The final best of breed in this group is the Yorkshire Terrier. Judged today by Miss Tanya Eads, she had an entry of 51 dogs, making 58 entries. And her best of breed was the bitch, 1778. We are still waiting for a number of best puppy in breeds in the collecting ring. Will you please assemble there straight away? Mrs. Fry is now going to make her shortlist. So first out in the ring is the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, followed by the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, the English Toy Terrier, the Japanese Chin, the King Charles Spaniel, the Maltese, the Pekingese, and the Yorkshire Terrier. Thank you very much indeed to the rest. Congratulations, you've all had a super day and you know you're taking your best dog home. First for a rewalk is the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel number 249. Please do support these breeds. They've all had a long day, they've got through a lot of competition, and they should be congratulated for getting here. Second, we have the English Toy Terrier number 755. Now, the Smooth Coat Chihuahua number 567. Another walk for the Maltese, number 1201. The Japanese Chin, number 978. And now we see the King Charles Spaniel, number 1073. The Pekingese, 1479. And finally, the Yorkshire Terrier, number 1778. The UK Toy Dogs Attractive Show Team now brought out their boards. While Mrs. Fry has the final look.
if uh, the new chairman was sat in the audience tonight? Yes. What would you ask him? To care. To care about us a bit more. To remember that the Kennel Club is supposed to be for the furtherance of pedigree dogs. And we are pedigree dogs. Um, I want them to care about us. I want them to share our interests. I want them to stop caring about the RSPCA and care about us. I can remember once Edna gave me a bitch that I was very thrilled with and Olive said, where did you get that from? And I said, Mrs. Harold gave it to me. She said, she did, she couldn't have sold the damn thing, could she? <laughs> <laughs> and then Olive gave me a bitch that I thought was lovely and Edna said, well, make sure you showed him long grass with feet like that. <laughs> They stopped my life, effectively, for mistakes. I see myself as the judge that was banned. Mrs. Fry has the final look to narrow it down to the final four. And best in show at the UK Toy Dog is the Yorkshire Terrier, Miss number 1778. followed by the Japanese chin, number 978. In third spot, the smooth coat chihuahua, 567. And number four, the Pekingese, 1479. Congratulations to the remaining four, and thank you very much indeed as you leave the ring. Congratulations to you all. So Sergio and Juliana, you've just won Best in Show at UK Toy. You must be over the moon. Absolutely. We are absolutely happy. We cannot be happier. <laughs> I mean, it's really, really exciting to do this. I mean, uh, and we, this is not the first time we've seen you on the programme. We saw you back at Crafts winning a, a group placing as well. Yes, absolutely. We got Best of Breed at Crafts and also a group third. We uh, was really amazing. I mean, <laughs> we cannot expect that much being in, in so high competition, you know, yeah. it's very, very um, uh, emotional. <laughs> um, she really looks like she enjoys herself in the ring as well. She, she's very, very good temperament, Yorkie. I mean, she loves people, she loves to play, she loves the, the, the ring, especially the main rings. Yeah. Being around all these different breeds and then the people clapping and all the noise, she really <laughs> loves it. And then she gets more in, uh, uh, energy uh, from, from the people, I think. Yeah. And it's very dramatic in the ring as well, the lighting, it, she, looked, she looked fabulous. Oh, thank you very much. She really enjoyed it and I, of course, I enjoy it also <laughs> because winning is, I think, is very uh, exciting for everybody. Yeah. And it's, it's not her first win though, is it? She's done quite a lot of winning elsewhere. Well, she's been doing a lot of winning, not only here in England, but also around Europe. She is, well, many champions from many countries, Finland, Norway, Denmark, Portuguese, uh, Japan, international, well, many championships yeah. and it's also she has uh, five best in shows, all breed best in shows, specialty best in shows, now toy specialty winner also. And well, she's doing quite well. I'm a special dog. Nice. Yeah, yes, yeah, one of the, in a million, I think. <laughs> and it's not the first time you've won here either, is it? No, I think actually I like to see, to come to this show. It's been being very good for me. This yeah. is the second time I get best in show. Uh, in 2010, I got best in show with my uh, UK champion, multi champion, Estugos Leonidas. And I got also reserve best in show here in 2009 with uh, my world champion uh, Stugot Versace as well. <laughs> a very good show, very good. Show. Yeah, I like to come every year. <laughs> um, will we be seeing uh, Will we be seeing her back in the UK at all this year? 
Yes, actually she's going to be around here for some shows, four or five shows, uh, because uh, we're trying to do her uh, Top Yorkie. She was Top Yorkie here last year, right. and we will try this again. We never know. We will try. <laughs> um, and <laughs> so she, far, she's doing good. She's got all those titles in Europe, but you said she's a Japanese champion, because that's where she's from, isn't it? Yes, yes. So she's originally from Japan, also Japanese champion, and the breeder owner is still is in Japan. She came all the way at Kraft just to watch her. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long way. Yeah, it's a long way, so it was a lot of pressure, but... Uh, but she, she, she got a result there, so that yeah, must be fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, she doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a nice surprise. Yeah, it will be a very good surprise. I'm sure she's going to be <laughs> she's gonna be absolutely happy. Well, congratulations, Sergio, on our, on our best in show at UK Toy. Well, thank you very much. Sir so Rhonda Banks uh, and Tashi. Tashi. You've just won Group 2 at UK Toy. Yes. Um, and you were back in the puppy group. You had a fantastic day. <laughs> Fabulous day. That was his son who also won Best Puppy. And his daughter actually won the Puppy Bitch class as well. So we've had a good day. <laughs> <laughs> the judge must have liked, liked your dog. Must have done, yeah. 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 He was best of breed at Crufts just two weeks ago. So On a good run. He is on a good run. He was the third top Japanese chin in the country last year. Yeah. And he's still not three-year-old, so... He isn't at his best yet. Yeah. So a lot of hope for him in the future then? Hopefully, yes, yeah. I hope so, yeah. His um, breeder was one of the top breeders in Japanese chins yeah. and she unfortunately died. Um, just He was just six months old at his very first show when we heard she died. So that was the really sad bit, but hopefully... Bit of a tribute. Yeah. He was the third top, top yeah. Japanese chin. Yeah. Um, what other t when has he done? Oh, he's been best in show at the club show. Yeah. Um, he's had five challenge certificates. He has his junior warrant, which the best way to explain it is almost like a junior championship. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so he's he's accounted well for himself, <laughs> but he's a bit of a, a diva, <laughs> and he can sometimes say, "I don't want to do this today. Thank yeah. you very much." And if he says that, then. He means it. Luckily that wasn't today. But it wasn't today, so I'm very proud of him. So Group 3 today was champion Bremerita Azure and Shelda. How do you feel? You're at Group 3 today. Yeah, absolutely smashing, thrill to bits. Um, and it's not his, not his first big win, is it? No, he had um, Group 2 at Southern Counties. He had the Dog CC at Crafts and this is his 11th CC. Wow, he, a, a lot of winning he's done. And he, he's really full of sass when he's in the ring. He's moving his... He loves it. He absolutely yeah. loves it. Yeah. Very full of himself. Yes, yeah. <laughs> all man. <laughs> and there's a quite an interesting story behind him as well, isn't it? It is. We sold him when he was 14 weeks old, and to France. The new owners didn't like him, and they sent him back to us just a year ago. And in a year, he's been top male with 11 CCs. Showed them. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations, and we hope to see him again uh, later on this year. Thank you. As before, Mrs. Fry will give them one last look. But remember, they are puppies, they're not robots. They're going to want to play or even lie down and have a sleep after such a long day. But they all need our encouragement. And first out is the Australian Silky Terrier. The Cavalier King Charles. The Smooth Coat Chihuahua. The English Toy Terrier. The Japanese Chin, the King Charles Spaniel, the Maltese, and the Pug. I think we've finished with the rest, and thank you very much indeed. We hope to see all these puppies back here again next year as adults with best of breed. So congratulations. And first to move again is the English Toy Terrier, number 795. Followed by the Japanese Chin, number 977. We now see the Australian Silky Terrier, 
number 46. The King Charles Spaniel, number 1093. The Pug, number 1726. The Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, Number one eight zero. The smooth coat chihuahua, number five two five. And finally, the Maltese, which we now discover is a bitch, 1187. I think Mrs. Fry is ready for the boards. So again, the UK Toy Dog Show Team come out in force. I'm glad to say all females. And best puppy in show at the UK Toy Dog is the Australian Silky Terrier, number 46. Followed into second place by the Pug, 1726. Third, the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, number 525. And fourth, the King Charles Spaniel 1093. Thank you very much indeed to the other four. I'm sure we'll see you back here again next year, possibly as best of breeds. Back with Judah again today, um, with Dazzle, and really dazzled in the ring, didn't she? Really, she did, and I was over the moon about it. I really didn't expect, to be honest to you, considering the breed is a minority breed. Normally, we thought we're always the second best, but this time, we get the best. And you must be chuffed. This, this show's dazzle is a, a hope for the future. Yes, and over the moon, really, because this is her first show, because she's only six months and two days, I think. Wow. To be exact, wow. I think, yeah. And this is her first show, and what a wonderful win for her. Yeah. That's yeah. First show, that is that is an incredible win. The pug as well, that was Group Two, a first show, first show for it as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah, well, which is good because it makes a lot more promising for us for the future, especially for this breed. I mean, the the reason why I was more over the moon is not just because I win it. I think it will do good for the breed. Yeah. That's the whole point, you know. <laughs> so I will keep campaigning until they'll be noticed. <laughs> Sadai, uh, you've just judged best in show, best puppy in show at UK Toy. Give us your thoughts on the on the groups. Well, the Yorkshire Terrier was absolutely stunning. Yeah. His top line, his coat, is he floated. Yeah. Absolutely, all four were lovely, and the puppy, well, was absolutely super. Yeah. So um, th there were so many nice ones yeah. in the groups. They could have changed places, but. I just loved, I loved the pug, the second one as well, but the Australian silky again floated along. Yeah. So I was very pleased. Yeah. And the Yorkshire Terrier we, we saw at Crafts just a few weeks ago taking a group place as well. Well, I, I didn't <laughs> realise that. Yeah. And he said he flies over from Spain for every show. Yeah. God, that <laughs> is some... Dedication. Oh. Yeah. yeah, but the dog's worth it. Mm. It was apparently, he said, top Yorkie last year. Yeah. And it will be this year by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Uh, that, that Yorkie really did enjoy it in there. I hope you did too. I did. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Great. And, um, well, 
Here's the next. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. I'll let, you, I'll let you run into your taxi. Have a good trip back. Thank you. Thanks very much. We will soon be launching some exciting new products in our Perfect Fit range of harnesses. Here's a quick sneak preview. Our new Tiny Perfect Fit harnesses are for the very small breeds of dogs, such as Chihuahuas and Tiny Yorkshire Terriers. They are made with small 10mm clips and instead of coming in three pieces, they are made with a top piece and a bottom piece.